suddenly I had 350 pianos in my life without knowing how to play, how to fix them, anything, except realize that I had to learn in order to preserve them. Mainly what I try to do here is create little dreams for people, small dreams, working class people dreams, and I just make nice beginning pianos. There's a lot of history in piano and keyboards. Um, my interest is to be able to build reproductions of historical instruments, of historical keyboard instruments. I look at these pianos every day when I come in and I don't know, all I have to do is look at the pianos and I realize why I want to work on them. A piano is kind of a trap. Once you get into it, you can't find a way out. It's too complicated inside. People started early making piano instruments. They started in the 15th century to make keyboard instruments. And it's been going on for generations and generations and hundreds of years. The first pianos were made entirely by hand with knives and carving knives and just simple, simple tools and facilities and nowadays they get to produce pianos like cars in the car factory with a huge robot machines with guy in factories where they run on a chain and they get all the parts. I, I think it's kind of a dehumanization. It, uh, the trend is much more into getting the perfect instrument. Pianos on earth perfect, never will be. And if you build a new one, it's, it hasn't got any personality, it's just like a machine, not like a musical instrument. Let's go out for a beer. Tonight? Why not? <laughs> 